That's Nick. And that's Joseph. And today we're here to talk about The Good Mother, the third film directed by Miles Joris Perifit, which is being released courtesy of Vertical Entertainment on September 1st, 2023. The director? Miles Joris Perifit. Do we know their other films? I haven't seen either of their previous films, including uh, his debut, As You Are, from 2016, and Dreamland from 2019, which featured Margot Robbie. The premise for The Good Mother, a journalist who, after the murder of her estranged son, forms an unlikely alliance with his pregnant girlfriend to track down those responsible for his death. Together, they confront a world of drugs and corruption. That sounds a lot bigger than it ended up being. Yeah. My pull quote, I would have preferred less mother and more murder. Oh, okay. All right. Um, uh, mine is a solid, if fairly predictable, pot boiler reconfigured as an opioid neo-noir featuring a cop, his wife, a woman, and his mother. So the mother is played by Hilary Swank. The pregnant girlfriend is played by... Olivia Cook. And the... Son, who's a cop, is Jack Rayner. Okay, so the story is that Hillary Swank has two sons: the cop Jack Rayner and another son who we never meet. And she finds out he's been killed or found dead. Uh, at his funeral, the pregnant girlfriend shows up, and they have an altercation, which we can get to. Um, but of course, they start talking. She's pregnant and saying that you know maybe she can help figure out who did this so we spend like 30 minutes with them trying to get leads um and those leads uh point them in the direction of someone named ducky mm -hmm. played by hopper penn that's right and so when the pregnant girlfriend goes to confront ducky he's been killed so sort of the climax of the story is the pregnant girlfriend runs to the cop brother jack rayner to tell him, like, oh my god, I just went to go see Ducky, someone killed him. But while she was there, she took his phone. And we see on his phone that he has contacted, like, this mysterious number more than once. So the cop brother, Jack, he's like, okay, well, let me figure out what to do. I'm going to make a few phone calls. We'll have someone go pick up the body. And while he's doing all that and she's alone in the living room, she calls that mystery number on Ducky's phone. And guess where that number leads to? A phone that's in the cop's house. So then we think, okay, well, he had something to do with all of it. The call is coming from inside the house. She goes downstairs to find the phone and the cop sees her. They have a confrontation and he, I guess you could say, accidentally kills her. Mm -hmm. So he has to figure out what to do. So he decides to set up a situation where it looks like she OD'd in the bathroom because she used to be a drug addict. She's sober now. And as he's setting up the scene and he injects her with a bunch of drugs, mm -hmm. the cop's wife shows up. Played by Delone. So, she, of course, she calls 911. So there's enough time to get her to the hospital. She dies, but the baby in her belly is able to be saved. So we flash forward and we see that now the cop and his wife are raising this baby because we see that that... The, the wife, what's the actor's name? Delone. She's having trouble getting pregnant. Is that true? Let me think of a different movie. She is pregnant. Oh, she's pregnant. She has too. a child. Hilary Swank as uh, Melissa, or sorry, Marissa is raising the child. So, <laughs> Hilary and the wife meet mm -hmm. after, you know, time has passed. And the wife is like, I have to tell you something. I was in the basement. And I found that dead lady's necklace or bracelet, whatever. Page. And there was blood by it. And I've tried to do the math every which way, and I just don't know how to explain it, except that obviously my husband was involved in her death. Like, she did not die from a drug overdose. So, Hillary Swain, being a journalist, decides that uh, she's going to follow her son. And she discovers that he is interacting with a drug dealer and there was this suitcase filled with drugs that we see the cop exchange with someone so now she knows and she confronts her son and he says that his brother was murdered because he wouldn't return these drugs and or sell them or sell them because he knew it was in them because they're a combination of coke heroin and fentanyl so it's very deadly and it's called mother's milk 
which yeah. is the original title of this film. Okay, so the mom, Hillary, decides that she's a journalist and she's going to write like an article about it. <laughs> Called Mother's Milk, Brother's Blood. Which, of course, it's implied that like that's going to tear the family down because maybe he'll be in trouble in mm-hmm. the end. Um, I was disappointed because there's so many interesting things in the movie that we really don't spend much time on. We spend a lot of time with Hilary Swank. We do. Just looking dour and moping around. And I, I didn't really care about her as much as like, she has these two sons, one of whom's a drug addict and he's causing all this like discord in the family. And then how the brother, I thought it would have been fun to, as the audience maybe think the brother was involved in the death of his brother to like ease the pain within the family. I think that would have been really interesting. And then of course the death of the pregnant girlfriend, that happens very fast. Uh, no, I think we that that's like a little past the midway point where Olivia Cook dies. And I think the strongest part of the film is really the relationship between the two women. To me, that's the most interesting part. Although I do feel like we focus too much on Hillary Swank. I think Olivia Cook is kind of more interesting. Sure, yeah. Well, or or that. But I think it 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 almost feels like the film didn't know which direct. Like it kind of got split down the middle between this sort of drama about this mother and this pregnant lady and their relationship or sort of procedural of like who killed this guy and all the inner workings so it just feels diluted on both sides sure Mm -hmm. and also i i I don't know how this read originally as a script i mean the i do think mother's milk is a more interesting title than the good mother because then it feels like it's in uh a long succession of similar titles like the good nurse the good son the good wife the good doctor like those are all movie titles i don't know why we needed the good mother uh and there's also something it 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 isn't gritty enough like it's, it does kind of similar things that another gritty movie released well that played a can this year called black flies does especially has uh, pertains to a pregnant woman and her baby but it just feels kind of like it flatlines there's a movie with a young lady oh, just for shailene woodley mm-hmm. and her boss is that gay guy and there's a serial killer. Mm-hmm. What's uh, that movie called? Directed by Damien Chiffron. Uh, that also, How to Catch a Killer or something like that. It had a, also renamed and had a very generic title. But I, I liked that film. I liked that film better. I thought it had more tension. And then we also had the central character who I thought was pretty well developed. I, I agree with you. I think the pregnant lady was more interesting. But we're splitting time between her and Hilary Swank. And I don't... I think Hilary Swank's fine, but I don't yeah, think she was fine. doing anything. No, and I do appreciate that she allows herself to look regular. Even I, I think she looks fantastic for her age, but she she's made a career playing kind of blue-collar type workers that are a, a bit downtrodden. And again, I don't know... I, I think in, in written form, this reads one way, but the casting of Jack Rayner made me feel like this is fairly predictable because once you get a couple scenes with this notable person and nothing's going on, I'm like, oh, he had something to do with his brother's death. When we're at the funeral and the pregnant girlfriend shows up, Hillary walks up to her and slaps the shit out of her. (laughs) I thought that was funny. (gasps) Right as she's trying to say that she's pregnant so she won't, because she knows she's going to get hit. (laughs) Yeah. Um, So the... The, the the drugs you mentioned are called mother's milk, which is a combination of three things. And what the son had was $50,000 worth of it, which is like a brick. So early on in the film, we see that some bad guys have come to the pregnant lady's house to get back the drugs. And she's able to escape just in the nick of time. But she jumps out of the second story and like just jumps off the roof. I think it's so funny, like, depending on the kind of movie you're watching, a, ju- a, a fall like that would have incapacitated someone. Mm-hmm. And then in this movie, this pregnant lady jumps from that height. And she pops right up and not only starts running, but hops over a fence. <laughs> she had a hearty womb because she falls all the way down those stairs at the end. Uh, and that baby still makes it out. So they get a lead because I thought something that looked... Well, it seemed appropriate. The pregnant lady posts on Facebook. Mm-hmm. Like, if anyone has information on my, like dead baby daddy let me know and she gets all these messages and she does get a lead and they end up going to the neighbor's house and the neighbor says i saw this white truck they put two and two together and figure out it's ducky then we see hillary at like a fentanyl testing site or like where people can go and exchange syringes 
and test their drugs to make sure they're not laced with fentanyl. Harm reduction, yeah. Harm reduction sites. And Hillary sees Ducky, so then she chases him. I thought that was... Those were better moments. Yeah, I, again, I think the movie's not doing anything inherently wrong or bad or cheesy or corny. It just... Uh, kind of left me at that level, at, at, at a sigh. I wrote down that this pregnant lady needs to go somewhere and sit down. Like, <laughs> she's doing a lot. She's doing a little <laughs> too much, but uh, and not in a way that is so egregious because she does, Jack Rayner's kind of family to her, so it's, I, I, I got the sense that she felt mm, that she was going to be safe enough to be compelled to go in the basement. I also, I, I, I guess I think that because the the deceased brother is a cop i don't know why the deceased brother is not a the cop. deceased brother's brother is a cop i don't know why the family felt like we need to do our own investigating because in this instance i feel like well we have family in law enforcement so he's going to make sure that the investigation is done the best way it can be you know how in some films it's like, or some stories, it's like, well, the cops aren't interested in trying to solve this. Every episode of Dateline, it's like the family feels like they have to do a little extra. But in this story, I don't know why Hillary and the pregnant girlfriend were so motivated to try to... It seemed kind of unnecessary. Like, well, sit your ass down and, and be pregnant and healthy. And, like, your son is a cop. Let him do the work. Well, the brother doesn't seem to be very... It doesn't seem like he's interested in doing much. He doesn't seem that upset. Uh, well, he's not the detective in charge, but I feel like you have an in. So, like, if you felt like the investigation... The, the story doesn't ever allow for us as the audience to see that no one is trying to figure out who did it. It's just immediately, we're going to figure it out, even though we have an in to the police department. So, th that's what I'm saying. Yeah, and I think I remember making the comment that if your mom's a journalist and your brother's a cop, your murder will probably be solved eventually. Yeah, yeah. Did uh, You might have ever saw uh, Hilary Swank was in this movie called Conviction back in 2010, uh, where I believe she played Tony Goldwyn's sister. Oh. And she puts herself through law school so that she can defend him <laughs> and get him. It's based on a true story. I've, n I've never seen it, but I'm curious to, as to how that plays now. When Hillary decides she's going to follow her cop son to see what he's up to, she grabs the baby in the car seat and she just throws that car seat in the back of the car. She does not secure it. <laughs> yes. I thought that was funny. Who is the good mother? I don't think that's, that's the good mother. So Hillary's character has a couple of quirks because I guess she has addiction issues. So she likes to hold a cigarette, but she'll smoke it, but she doesn't light it. Mm -hmm. And then she likes to sit at a bar and like she'll work. But she won't drink alcohol. I kind of found that annoying. I, I I can understand it though. She brings herself to the. She's facing it. She's right at the precipice of, and and maybe that's where part of the thrill is in, in well, being able in being able to stay sober. Sure. Know? Yes, that makes sense. But I feel like in the because then the story after she releases her article, "Mother's Milk, Brother's Blood," then we see her actually light a cigarette and smoke it. She, but it's that cigarette she's been carrying around. Like, you know that's stale. Yeah. Um, get yourself a fresh pack, girl. But, but it was okay. What yeah. would you give this movie? Two and a half. I would give it two and a half out of five. Hit the thanks button. Listen to our podcast. Bye. <laughs>